Hey everyone, it's Chantal and today I have a haul um, to share with you guys. I um, shopped some stuff at Michael's um, and Curry's Art Supply Store which is a Canadian art um, supply uh, store for art supplies and uh, Jamie's store which is not too shabby shop and um, I will have all the stores linked below in my description box. So from Michael's um, the first thing is the dollar fifty bin that I look at always. I grabbed these pretty beads in pink and in aqua, and I love the jars that they come in really pretty. And from the clearance section, I picked up these sequins um, in silver, and it's a lot of sequins in this package here. I picked up just this random flamingo charm. Uh, and this uh, petite frame uh, square one. I really like the frilly effect on the sides of this one. And from the dollar fifty bin, I picked up some of these wooden uh, embellishments. These are some words that says "Be great, be happy, be bright, be you." So pretty. I love the colors. And then I got this outline butterfly and these um, wooden words again that says expect great things. A little wheel with a little heart cut out in the middle and then an outline flower. A solid butterfly, a heart, a peace sign and then follow your bliss and bliss is falling apart. But I can fix this one. And then I picked up these resin frames um, again from the dollar fifty pin. Really pretty. Uh, summery colors and a pack of flowers and this was the last one that I grabbed so this is my recollections um, and I also grabbed these bows <coughs> in a caramelly beige color with the glitter in the center and the one in ivory as well so cute so that was moved from dollar fifty bin and then the ink pads were on sale so I grabbed this one to try the color box pigment ink in various colors and a watermark um, watermark stamp pad because my older one is just too is in a bad state and then I picked up this Sizzix, um dye brush and the foam pad I was really wanting to order the spellbinders one but this one I saw at Michael's and I used my coupon for this one and that's the stamp pad on the back and then that's that is the brush where you roll the brush through your intricate dyes like the doilies and stuff um, and the cover plates and you get all the pieces out from the dye that the picture that shows you here sorry about the glare excited to try that and then I picked up a random journal as well from the dollar fifty bin it's really pretty it's cute with the water um, watercolor effect on the pages uh, really springy and then I also picked up this <coughs> excuse me the Tim Holtz stamp the I don't have the bird one uh, the rubber stamp I I really want to order that one and I'll see if I get my hands on those sometime soon but I saw this one I think these are smaller in size and these are clear and they also come with these sentiments here um, hello love friend thank you or miss you and then they also come with these dies here which I thought was super cute and they also have an example of the of a card here and it also comes with an embossing folder on the back and it's like the party streamers on the back super cute and they also have some card designs here on the back if you can see that super pretty so this is the embossing folder used here the words and the birds of course really excited to try this one <laughs> And then I grabbed a couple of paper pads as well. This is the My Mind's Eye Fancy Dad. Um, and I, re I opened these one already because I really wanted to see the paper pad. It's got that foiling <coughs> thing on here. I'm sorry if I'm coughing in between. <clears throat> I had a really bad sinus infection which I'm still getting over. And I love this paper pad. And these are double sided which I'm a big fan of and I love the gold foiling which is such a trend look at this one 
so pretty. And <coughs> sorry. <coughs> Super cute. I love the colors. It's again the my mind's eye. Fancy that. And then I also picked up this recollection one. It's called the Paddy Wag. I love the prints and the designs in here. Let me just quickly flip through this one. The paper is really thin, but I got this for um, I'm doing some flip books these days, and um, which I can always make out of um, you know the regular cardstock, and then I can use these cutesy papers to. Um, <coughs> you know just uh, <coughs> cover my plain cutstock as a designer paper on top of that so because this paper if it used by itself it's really uh, flimsy uh, it's like a regular paper and it would just tear apart so quick I mean just look at the colors I couldn't resist buying this one so cute and I think it's a lot of sheets for one design I think six for each design which is super nice <laughs> and it's a big bulky paper pad pretty colors happiness is being with you so cute I think it would be so apt for the flip books the snail mails that's so in trend these days and yeah that's the paper pad and um, lastly at Michael's I picked up this trinket tray which I thought was super cute I am debating on whether to keep it at my home office or should I take it at my work office you know it says cutie pie in here and I can put my keys my glasses or any kind of stuff that I want and it can just stay on my desk super cute and then I went to Curry's um, art store and I picked up I was looking at some water coloring brushes and some water coloring um, paper pads so this is what I found there so I picked up this was a set of watercolor brushes these come as a set um, what brand was it again the Princeton Art and Brush Company which I think these are really stiff and I'm not a fan of as much <coughs> sorry <coughs> I have that dry cough still lingering on uh, and this is the Curry's brand um, watercolor brushes and I love these because I did uh, some watercoloring with this which I will share as well um, in my next video and I really like these brushes um, these are super nice and they work so well with my distress inks or my watercolors and then they were out of all the Arches hot press uh, watercolor paper and they had this brand as well with them which is called the fluid watercolor paper a hot press finish which is super smooth and so fun to work with and I picked up the 6x8 block of these and I think how many sheets are in here 15 sheets and it wasn't as expensive as the arches one uh, but I'm really happy with this one but I really want to try the arches one as well and then lastly from Jamie's store that's her card here um, thank you Jamie for the super nice shipping um, and she also has a rewards program going on um, I picked up uh, these stamps it's the Miss Anya Spring super excited to play this one greetings on stamps are always so cute and then I picked up this neat and tangled um, die uh, it's called the Panchanella and it's the round sequence Panchanella that you can cut out from this die. Then I picked up, and these were two separate orders from Jamie's store, because um, the release timings were different, especially for this stamp. And this is a clear stamp by Greeting Farm, which is called the Lovable Anya. And here is the Anya, which they have done in clear as opposed to the rubber stamp. And a little, cute little birdie here. And then the sentiment, you are loved. 
I can't wait to try their rubber stamp. Uh, uh, I think it's it's a nice quality because I ordered the um, unicorn one they have as well. And that's the die cut to go with the stamp. <clears throat> and I also picked up this waffle flower envelope die which has a folding envelope. Um, you see the score lines here and some super cute tabs <clears throat> that you can die cut out to close the envelope um, shut. So super pretty. So that was my haul for today. Thank you everyone for stopping by and uh, I will be back with another video. Bye now.